Hi guys, this is Mike Hibbert back again with another Python tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to be a, a series of tutorials and we're going to begin with uh, the installation and, uh, and setup of Django on your system. Django being the web development system that most people choose these days um, when they're thinking of doing web applications written in Python. Now, through the course of this, we're going to also look at a few of the tools that most of the Python developers use in setting up applications. Um, things like Easy Install, uh, things like Virtual Env, those things that we use so that we can you know, easily manage Python based applications and make sure that we can cope with uh, dependencies of modules and versions and that sort of thing. So, I'm going to try and make this as simple as possible so that you can get straight from A to B and get yourself installed and up and working pretty quickly doing Django applications. So the first thing we're going to look at um, is how to get the easy install script. Now the easy install script is basically so that we can install Python modules from PyPy which is the, the Python package in index. Um, which is a repository of modules that have been specially prepared, ready for us to install, that you can get pretty much to install on most web servers um, around the world. Now, I'm going to be dealing mostly in Linux, so I hope that you Windows users or your Mac users can follow along with this. I'm pretty sure that you can. Um, and with a little bit of Googling, you'll probably be able to get the exact commands for your particular operating system. I know for a fact that Mac will probably... Uh, be very similar to what I'm about to do here. So let's go. So how do we get the easy install script? Well, the easy install script is part of a package called Python Setup Tools. So to install it on my system, we basically go sudo apt get install that can spell correctly install Python Setup Tools. Oops. So Python hyphen setup tools. I've already installed this, so it should just tell me that I've already got the current version, but let's go. Let's see what happens. I'll type in my password and there you go. Python setup tools is already the newest version, so I've already got it on here. Um, I did that so that you wouldn't have to sit there and watch my dark screen whilst it downloaded. So there you go, that's installed now. Now that allows us to use the easy install script and we'll use the ins easy install script to then install virtual env. Um, virtual env is a, a, a setup that we can use so that we can more or less sandbox our Python applications so that we can put them in their own individual environment that has its own packages, has its own, its own references and own Python path so that everything that we import comes from that local space rather than from our system. The advantage of that is that my system doesn't have to have a fully fledged install of Django in my root system. I can do that um, in, a, in a separate folder away from all of my main system files. Um, which is really great when you're running on different versions of Django or different versions of modules even because then you don't have to sit there um, hoping that the dependencies aren't going to clash with each other because you can prepare, prepare a special folder with all of those correct modules ready to work with whatever you're trying to develop in that one space and you can have it segregated off from everything else so it really keeps everything nice and clean and keeps you from having the headache of all these modules that clash with one another so it's really useful so here's how to install it what we do is we go sudo easy install and virtual env and then after a while that should download and install um, I've already got it installed as you can see there so it's, it's already there so those are the two main applications that, that we have to install using the sudo command. Once we've done that, we can then start and use virtual env so that we can 
um, cordon off all of our code and our modules into a separate folder that won't affect our main system. So we won't have to do any more sudo after this point. So the next step is now to use virtual env to create us a folder that will be able to cordon off everything and we can then install our Django installation. So here goes, we do the following command, virtual env. We want to add a switch to it saying no site packages. Now, just to stop there and talk about that, the no site packages section uh, or switch rather means that when virtual env creates this separate folder with all its various modules we're not going to include any modules that are already installed on this existing system so whatever modules i've already installed in my my root folders for my global installation of python will not be copied into this folder we want everything to be uh, from scratch without any other modules that are going to clash with that. So if I've got modules in there for, I don't know, um, a games development package that has absolutely nothing to do with my Django installation, I don't want that to be pulled in. I don't want that to be cluttering up the installation and I don't want it to add extra space or extra data into where it's not needed. So we're saying don't use the site packages in this case. We want a very bare installation folder. So we do that by saying hyphen hyphen no hyphen site hyphen packages. And then finally, we're just going to add in a name for the folder. So you can call this anything you like, Django, Django Mike, maybe, whatever you fancy. Um, although a naming scheme might be helpful. That's up to you though. And then we press enter. And that's pretty much it new python executable in django hyphen mic forward slash bin forward slash python installing setup tools and pip so those two are to do with just use an easy install or the pip command which is this a similar command to, to easy install and it just lets us put more modules in once we're using the virtual environment so now that we've created that virtual environment, we want to be able to activate it so that whenever we run any installation commands from now on, it will automatically put those within our virtual environment and not in our root folder. So to activate the virtual environment to make that the current environment that we're working in, we run the following command. We first of all go source Django, hyphen mic, bin, activate. Now what this will do is it will tell the shell that I'm currently using to change its context into the folder where I've created this virtual environment so that things like the, the, the root of the installation package location will be rerouted from my root folders in the actual syst my actual laptop through to this folder. So to demonstrate that we'll go enter and now you can see that it's now recognizing that it's inside of this virtual environment and that any commands to do with easy install or pip will now install packages within this current environment. So I'm going to just go inside of that folder. You can see we've got the bin include live local folders. And it's basically treating this as a, almost as if it's the root folder of your system. But as we know, it's not, it's a separated folder. So now we've actually, actually activated that, we want to be able to install some packages. And the main one being that we want to install Django. So to, to install Django, we're going to now use our easy install script. <coughs> Excuse me. And notice now we're not using the sudo command. 
in this case we don't need to because we're inside the virtual environment it's almost like we are we are already using the root um, user so we don't have to run sudo anymore everything that goes on within this current environment is classed as root although we know we're safely being sound sandboxed away from the actual root system um, sorry to cloud that up with some weird kind of Linux based user terminology but it's it just basically means that you're safe when you install these packages that you're not going to complete completely ruin your system it's going to be kept separate in this nice separate folder so easy install is what we're going to do and we're going to say easy install Django and then just press enter I'm hoping this is not going to take very long now what it's doing is it's actually gone off to the Python package index website looked for the site the the package called Django it's then been redirected to the Django project website where it's been given details of what the the file is then it's noticed that the current version available is Django 1.4.3 and now it's downloading that zip file once it's downloaded that it will install that into the relevant folders of this current virtual environment and then that should then functionally be as if we had actually installed it into our root and we can use it as a module and now you can see it's now installed in there so that's great and we're all done didn't take very long and believe me that wasn't very long because I'm not on a very very quick internet connection yet it's probably 1.2 megabits per second at the top rate so isn't very fast at all but it didn't take long so that's great now if we look in this folder again we've got bin in the bin folder if we have a look in the bin folder we have our activate script which is what we use to create uh, activate the virtual environment we have our easy install script and pip and our python executable but we also have this new one called django hyphen admin and that's the main script that we use to install <coughs> a, a, a awaken django project now we're not going to go anywhere for anywhere further than just basically creating a project with, with this first uh, tutorial because I don't want to add too much detail into here and make it so that it just blows your mind so the last couple of things that I'm going to show you are just basically how to create your project first of all and then we're going to test it to see if it works and then finally I'll show you how to deactivate your virtual environment so that you can go back to the the way the shell was working before so how do we create a Django project well Django hyphen admin dot pi has a nice little set of help uh, instructions so if you just type its name you'll get it'll give you the list now you get all of these pieces of information but the bit we're looking for is that one there start project so we're going to go django hyphen admin dot pi start project and we're going to go django test uh, notice i used an underscore there in the name because you can't use hyphens in the project names that's something that you'll find out if you, if you attempt to try and stick something with a, a hyphen in there but you can always replace it with an underscore so this is to create our first project if we just press enter there very quickly executes that script and then you can see there's now a folder called django underscore test now if we go inside of there we can now test our server if I can just remember how to do it directory listen there we are so 
we have a project folder and a manage.py file. Now the manage.py file is very intra is very useful in the process of developing your applications and in fact um, a lot of the things that you'll do later on in terms of um, you know configuring your system and also setting off your actual web server is done through the manage script. So we're just going to basically demonstrate one of the features of the manage script here by just saying run server and this is basically how we test if our server is actually working. As we can see there it's running the server there are zero errors found it even tells us that we can then run it our web page in a browser from that link so let's open that link and you'll see there the basic web page that you get when you do a Django installation it also gives you some instructions on things like setting up your database um, and also telling you that the reason why you're seeing this is because you haven't configured the rest of the system yet but we're not going to do that in this example because this is the extent of what I want to show you in this tutorial because I don't want to make it any more complicated than it is already so now we've tested the server we've got everything up and running we can press Control C and that will kill our web, the, the test web server now finally we want to switch off or deactivate our virtual environment because we don't want to continue using it at this point so how do you think we're going to do that very simply we're just going to go deactivate it's as simple as that and now you can see we're no longer inside this environment here we're back to the normal prompt and all of our Python defaults and Python paths have been reset back to normal. That's the end of this uh, tutorial. I hope you've uh, found it informative and, and instructional and I hope that you benefited from it. If you liked this, this video and, or it helped you in any way, please click the like button. Um, if you'd like to know more about future tutorials or want to see the rest of this series, please click the subscribe button and uh, hopefully I'll be able to post more lessons for you in the future. If you've got any suggestions that you want to you know, see any tutorials on that are in relation to the Python, then please feel free to send me a message in the comment box below. Thanks for watching.